Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to match day number six of the FIFA 15 online career mode. And today I have another game for you guys, but here you can see the results from the previous match day if you missed them. I picked up a draw against DJ99. Didn't turn out to be so bad, really, because I had that goal difference on him just by the one, but it means I jump into third position because, of course, Pepsi FIFA lost against Full Metal Zoe, who is basically being he's unstoppable he's unstoppable at the minute someone has to beat him to because i've got to focus on my games i'm going to play him two games from now so it's going to be absolutely huge and i've actually got chani sports next going to target a win there as well but i can't be thinking too far ahead got to be focusing on this game and you guys voted for my plus two upgrade from the draw in the previous game for son uh, from bayer leverkusen who i think is an absolutely amazing player the other guys there are pretty pacey in that good skills whatever but son he, he's a goal scorer and he can create. He's got five-star weak foot. He's got like 86 long shots. And also, I'm not sure you voted him because he's on up form on the recent update. Uh, but does that like update every week or something? Because I'm wondering when one Jesus is going to get off the down arrow. I, I want him at his best ability. But I guess it evens itself out. But here, Balassi, on amazing dribbling run, finds Ledley. And unfortunately, he finds the back of the net. Both there, I was disappointed with my defending. And also, I was disappointed in my keeper, John Ruddy, that he couldn't save that. I, th I feel he didn't really attempt to save it. He didn't really dive one way or something. <laughs> that was really disappointing. But we had to just try and get the goal back. And it was Tete with the blasting shot. And it was Cameron Jerome, the ultimate poacher there. And yeah, he's the guy. Going into this game, I was looking to at least get a draw. I wanted to get a win, of course. Three points. Then you get that plus five upgrade. You can get a much better striker. And yeah, that's what I mean. Or much better player. But the striker, what I was looking to upgrade, Cameron Jerome. Because he's got high defensive work rate. But obviously there, he shows he has got pretty good attacking work rate. To be in a good position. And it's that man again. Balassi with the skills. He's a very skillful player. Finds Zaha. And then it's Perez. And Ruddy again. If you thought the last attempt was bad to save. What the hell is that? And we go behind in the second half here. It was well played by Chess though. It was a really good uh, passing goal. Well constructed. Fair play to him. But you got a feel for me really. At this point, I was thinking I wouldn't mind to lose here because then I can go back, <laughs> go and get back Simone Scafe with the downgrade of a minus five. Uh, he did all right for me. Uh, but anyway, here I'm making some changes. I, by default, have my fullbacks to not get forward. I want them to stay back because I don't want to be exploited by that. Uh, but if, because, yeah, if I can find I can score a goal early with that as well, with them sitting back. I can definitely defend for the rest of the game. And in my tactic, I've got my team to sit back. My pressure is low and everything like that, so they don't push forward. But when I need a goal, I'm going to push him forward. And then you got Braithwaite. Gets pass. Should finish. He doesn't. And it's again Cameron Jerome. How am I going to upgrade you when you're scoring like this? Amazing. Even though both the goals, they're like rebound goals, you could say. But also at the same time, he has to have some good attributes for him to be in those positions. He seems like a good poacher. Maybe another striker may not get in those positions. You don't really know. And could we get the winner here? Braithwaite dribbling through and that's a penalty. Surely, ref. No way. How did he not pay that? I don't know if it's just me. that Surely that to be a penalty. I definitely didn't dive in Braithwaite. He's absolutely murdering the defense right now. And Jerome had a chance for a hat trick. Two great chances I had there. And I could have won it. But now, look at that. Wilfred Zaha getting through. And finally, John Ruddy makes a save. So both teams here had chances. Chess had another chance there. But Tete, he's an amazingly strong center defensive midfielder. He wins those challenges deep. Um, at times acts as a third center back because of his high defensive work rate and there that's the situation where I feel I need someone better than Cameron Jerome couldn't dribble pass then Son I knew he had 86 long shots uh, that didn't look like 86 long shots and a guy in form as well and that touch that was second reason why I'm looking to upgrade Cameron Jerome here that first touch was not good enough he's got strength he's got pace a bit of shooting power but that's about it. So we picked up a draw um, against Chess here today, which is I'm happy with the result. It's a fair result. So last two games have been a draw, but my last three games now, no, the last four games, is it? Last, yeah, for last four games now, this series is going on. Uh, yeah, we're play, we're getting through the games, which is good. 
but yeah, my last four games have been unbeaten. Like, what did you think with my first two games? Like, I know, it, like, a lot of people probably thought, like, I'm <laughs> I'm too crap and I can't, yeah, uh, face these other FIFA YouTubers. But I'm really impressed with how I've played um, in the past four games. I'm kind of getting used to, yeah, playing in some other quality guys and uh, I'm improving my team. Uh, that's definitely helped. So Cameron Jerome will be going out and I'm looking for three different style of players. So it's up to you. This is your decision if you want a pacey guy. So don't say I'm a pace abuser. It's all up to you guys who you want to see. Do you think we need another pacey striker in Ahmed Musa, who's absolutely amazing? He's rapid. He's got amazing dribbling as well, so he can create chances through dribbling. His finishing is solid, 75. It's not world-class finishing. It's still decent enough with his pace, though. So leave your thoughts if you think we need a pacey striker with skills. Also, keep in mind, he can play as a left winger or left midfielder, so we could potentially improve that position in the future if we, if I don't think I need another upgrade striker because Chikawi could play as a striker as well. And here's our next option as a really good finisher. You can see Alfred Fimbogason from Real Sociedad hasn't got heaps of pace or strength. Strength, 70. Sprint speed, 69. Nothing too amazing. But he's got 85 attack position. You're thinking Cameron Jerome got in those positions. You think Finn Bogerson should, and even more. His vision's not too bad as all well, 71, but he's got 85 finishing. He had the best finishing for a 75 overall plan by far as all. Well. 85 finishing's amazing. A good pen taker, long shot as well, shot power. So he's a guy who's going to take those one-on-one -on -one chances, I hope anyway. Decent volleys as well. And you can see four-star weak foot. So he's going to be good on both feet, and he doesn't have the high defensive work rate like Cameron Jerome. And he's six foot, so that's a good height. He won't be weak because of that. He'll be able to still muscle off some players off um, yeah, off the ball. And finesse shot trait, which I think is really important, especially with good finishing. But then there's Nabil Gilas. This guy is a more of a stronger player. A little bit of pace, not heaps, but he's a really stronger player. He's actually got the bulky body type as well, so he's really strong. And he's got aggression with that as well. And he's got some mixed skill attributes, like finishing's not too bad, like 76 in there, I think it was. But then he's got skills as well. So he's a strong player, and yeah, six foot, but he's got skills in him. And he's got flair as well. And also, again, with the point, he can play left mid and right wing. So potential trade or, yeah, um, upgrade uh, with someone in those positions. And he's got flair. So leave your thoughts. I'll leave a straw poll once again. Hopefully enjoy the video. Drop a like. Go subscribe to Chess if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time.